Hi everyone. Something different. I will make Mandalorian Beska steel and there's going to be a giveaway at the end. Right. Let's learn a little bit about Mandalorian Beska. Right here. This was gathered in the Great Purge. It is good it is back with the tribe. In this episode, I will show you how I made this pretty piece of Beskar, and if you stick around till the end, it might be yours. In the Mandalorian, Beskar is the steel from which Mandalorian armor is made. Curiously, when looking at the clip from the Mandalorian, it looks a lot like pattern welded steel, and it's nice to see that the show took inspiration from the swordsmithing craft. To get started, I need to select the steel I want to use. 1095, a plain high carbon steel, and 15 and 20, a steel with high nickel content, one out. To get the distinctive Beskar look for real, a lot of forge welding is required. This is the process where different types of steel are fused together under pressure and very high temperatures. I am cutting 6 inch long strips and will assemble a 15 layer billet for the initial forge welding. In the end, I'm looking to get roughly 150 layers over 5 inches, or 30 layers per inch. This will mean forging and assembling two more billets after the initial forge welding. For this to work, I need to keep the material quite clean, as especially the nickel steel develops very tough scale. If you have seen my other videos on making knives, swords and spears, you already know a lot about these processes. The one thing that is going to be different here is forging and drawing out on the weld seam so that the Beska pattern can be created. This is the way. To keep the billet together in the heat, I'm placing a few weld seams. As they are on the outside, they will not be visible in the final pattern. There are no official measurements of the Beska ingot as far as I know, but by studying photos, I think they are roughly 5 by 2.5 inches and about a quarter inch deep. On the back side, there are two distinctive grooves, and the front bears the sigil of the Galactic Empire. Getting the distinctive sigil will require me to hot stamp the Beska ingot at the right spot and with the right amount of force. I will do this by hand with a 4 pound forging hammer. Alright, let's get going on the first forge welding operation. I will get the billet up to about 2400 degrees Fahrenheit, coat it with anhydrous borax to help to solve scale, and then weld it gently on the power hammer. You can see the super hot flux spraying away on the hammer heads. Tiny holes on my shirt bear witness to how hot they are. There are also quite a few tiny scars on my skin where larger pieces manage to get stuck. Once the billet is welded together, it's time to draw it out to a much longer bar that can be cut, stacked and forge welded again. Each of those operations will increase the number of layers on the billet until we get up into the hundreds. I am not showing everything here, you can watch some of my other videos for the details. You may also notice that the layers are not easily visible. They will become clearly visible at the very end, during the heat treating process as well as when etching with ferric chloride. Now I'm off to another round of forge welding and then drawing out the welded billet again. Although quite loud, it can also be quite meditative. You may notice that the power hammer has split dice. On the one side are flat dice, and the side closer to the camera has drawing dice. I heavily rely on the drawing dice to quickly elongate the billet. To be able to cut and stack the billet again, the bar needs to be of even thickness and width and you can see me do some fine-tuning here. I am trying to keep track of the layer count, and this is also an amusing example where the camera decided to do its own thing. The point being, I'm at about 45 layers at the moment, and will cut the billet into 4 pieces to get up to about 170 layers. You may wonder about me saying about so much when talking about the layer count. 
I kept 1095 on the outside and in each stacking operation there will be two layers of 1095 where the pieces meet and thus no visible increase in layers there. This is the final forge welding operation. Just imagine it done at this point. I'm trying to figure out here how much material to cut off the billet in order to get one Beskar ingot. I'm mostly looking at the total volume in cubic inches and determine based on that how much to cut off. You will see that in a second. I decided I needed to cut about two and an eighth of an inch. At the moment, the 170 layers are all compressed on the side of the billet, and I plan to forge that out to become the surface of the Beskar ingot. If you want to know how much a Beskar ingot should weigh, it's about 600 grams. As you saw at the beginning, the final result is going to be quite cool. I will show it to you again at the end. I plan to give the Beskar away to an interested subscriber of my channel. Stay tuned for that at the end. The neat thing is that if at some point you don't want the ingot anymore, it's great pattern welded steel for making knives or short swords. So keep that in mind. I'm checking my dimensions here and I'm close to what I wanted. Let's measure the weight again and then it's on to the grinder. This looks nice already. On the grinder, I'm using an aggressive grit and try to chew up the dimensions of the Beskar ingot. I want straight sides, even width, and even thickness. The grinding gets the steel quite hot and I need to frequently cool it down in water. Before I can take it back to the forge for hot stamping the Galactic Empire sigil and hardening the steel to bring out the pattern better, I still need to cut the grooves on the back. I'm using layout fluid to see where the grooves should be. I don't have a real milling machine and instead use my mini mill and a ball end cutter. Let's see how that goes. Unfortunately, this was exactly the time where the Y-axis lead screw for moving the table decided to bind really badly. I was still able to finish the grooves though and in the meantime also made a replacement part for the mill with wheel bearings this time. A company on the east coast made this high quality hot stamp for me that I'm placing into my stamping jig. Let's stamp the Galactic Empire sigil and heat treat the Beskar. There you have it. This is the way. Let's finish it up by polishing and etching it. Here I need to be careful to not polish too aggressively because the Galactic Empire sigil is fairly shallow. I am using a high grit belt and this should not take all that long. As a result of all the polishing, the layers visible after heat treating will completely disappear. Once I'm happy with the polish, it's time to place the steel into my ferric chloride solution for 10 minutes. And then we are basically done. The only step remaining is some hand polishing, which I will not show here. If you would like a chance at getting this beautiful piece, take a look in the description on how the giveaway is going to work. This is pretty cool and unique. As always, thanks to everyone on Patreon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.
see you next time.